everybody, it's Christina again, aka the Cherokee Gypsy, and I would like to welcome everybody back to my channel. Um, I think it's been like, what, a week since I did my last video. I've been working, and honestly, today I really don't feel too good. Um, I was supposed to go to work, but it's that time of the month, and... The older I get, the worse my periods get. I just, I just, they just make me feel like crap, you know. And uh, last night we had a squall line come through. And uh, as y'all know, I live in a huge RV and the wind shook the crap out of my RV and scared the ever living death out of me. So, I, although I don't feel that good today, I figured I'd go ahead and make a new video and just kind of show y'all my, uh, my favorites right now, my favorite products I'm using as of right now. Um, but first of all, before we get started in that, I want to let y'all know in advance, I apologize for the lighting. Um, a light bulb went out in here, and y'all know I don't have good lighting. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to hold hold this while I show y'all the product. So I'm going to have to use my one hand and just have to figure out a way to do it. One day I will have actual video camera equipment and I will be able to make better quality videos. Until then, I would like to give a shout out to all my 201 subscribers. Welcome to my channel, all you new lovely beauties. Um, I was at 196 last week and now I'm at at 201 so I have hit the 200 mark and I am super excited and super happy about that and for all my new subbies like I said please 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 make yourself at home get comfortable and welcome to my channel you can call me Christina you can call me CC the Cherokee Gypsy whatever your little heart desires um, so let's just go ahead and just jump right into it so I don't make a 30 minute video um, so today, um, I'm just going to show y'all a little bit of uh, what I'm using in uh, my favorite products in my little bag for the beginning of March. Y'all know that I'm a beauty and makeup junkie, so I collect everything. I'm a skincare and makeup hoarder. Um, everything I get, I hold on to. I will not let go. So, for the beginning of March, I would just like to show y'all a couple of products that I'm actually using right now that I am in love with. But, first of all, let me tell y'all something about a product. So, there is a product, sorry about the lighting for a second. There is a product, okay, and I'm about to show y'all this product. Um, let me tell y'all, if you struggle with acne, I struggle from cystic adult hormonal acne, so my acne never goes away. So, let me just tell y'all this. If you have never used the product Differin, um, it is actually an acne medication that you put on your face once a day. And over the months, your, your face is supposed to dramatically improve. Some people it works for, some people it doesn't. Um, and just let me go, and let me just go ahead and tell y'all. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. Uh, you can get it at Walmart, and I think it's like $18. Um, this is what it is. This is the uh, product right here. Um, Differing, Differing Gel. It is the uh, Adipalene Gel 0.1% Acne Treatment. And let me tell y'all something. My face is just now getting better, okay? That stuff right there gave my face the worst chemical burn in my life, okay? To where my skin, my skin is still flaking from it, but I'm using a really good moisturizer at the moment. So, thank goodness that it's it's been like a week, but I've struggled with what that product has done to my face in the past week. Let me tell you. So, at first, I thought my face was like wind chapped, okay? Y'all know when your face gets really tight and dry and flaky, like when you've been out in the wind and the wind's really strong and it makes your skin like super dry and 
flaky and uncomfortable and you have to put like Vaseline or Neosporin on it. Um, that's what I thought was the issue at first. Oh my gosh, my arms are getting tired. I don't know if I can hold this the whole time I'm doing a video. Let's try to get a better... Okay, well, what about this? How about I just go grab my little, uh, my makeup bag, my little Ipsy bag that I'm holding my products in, and, uh, how about I just go grab them real quick, and so I can do the video right here so I can use both of my hands, um, to talk about this with y'all. But, uh, like I said, let me finish my story, but I was telling y'all. So, this stuff right here, this different gel, um... All of a sudden, at first, I was like, okay, cool, it's working, you know, and I was really excited um, because I've struggled with adult acne for a really, really long time, and all I want is a clear complexion, and I've never had one, so I figured I'd give it a try because they've now made it to be where you can buy it over the counter, um, where you don't have to have a prescription. So, I was thinking, all right, well, let's go ahead and let's try it. So... The first couple of days when I was applying it, um, I did notice, I did notice a difference in my skin. Um, I, it looked like it was beginning to work. So I was thinking, oh my gosh, I got really, really, really excited and I thought, wow, I cannot believe I've actually found a product that's actually going to work. And uh, then, about after that third day, my face started feeling really tight and uh, red. And every time that I would like put a moisturizer on my face or wash it with one of my exfoliators, my face would like burn like shit. It would just burn, burn, burn. And it burned so bad and it just started burning. And I was thinking, what in the world? But I was thinking, you know, still that my face is chapped from windburn. So I didn't think much about it until the next day I woke up and I, all my entire chin, all around in the creases right here was flaking so bad. It li I literally looked like a reptile, y'all, okay? Um, it was not a pretty sight. And for a whole week, I struggled. I wouldn't even go out in public. My face looked that bad. So I'm just letting y'all know it's just now getting better, but it peeled and peeled and peeled and peeled. And finally, like I said, it's just now getting better. But if you have not used Differing Gel, please use caution. If you have and it works for you, you great I'm excited for you that that's wonderful I'm happy for anybody who struggles with acne and actually finds a product that actually works so good for you but let me tell you for my skin it gave me the worst chemical burn of my life Story short, it was not wind chat what happened to my face. I was reading reviews about it, and other people were complaining about the same issues. That it makes your skin purges, and of course I know that, where your zits come to the front, uh, come to the surface of your skin and everything, all the toxins start coming out and whatnot. But I got two huge, gigantic cysts, one right here, which is starting to go away, and then one right here. I mean, it was so bad. I had two huge lumps on my face, and my skin was all peeling around here. It was just, it was literally terrible. I looked like a reptile, and I will never, ever, ever put that stuff on my face ever again, unless it's a spot treatment, because I do believe that if you don't put it all over your entire face and use it as a spot treatment, it can work uh, better. So, anyways, like I was saying, um, I wish... I wish I could get it like this. This is how I want it to look. But if I have to do it like this, then I guess I have to do it like this. But, um... So, anyways, like I said, my face is getting better now, but if you have not used different gel and you are thinking about it or you've seen it, please just use caution, okay? That's all I'm saying because it destroyed my face for a whole week and I thought, I cried and cried and cried and it burned and burned and burned and I never thought it would go back to the way it looked. 
But my face is improving now um, since I stopped using it and all the scaly and flakiness is going away. So anyways, that's my story about different gel. Please use caution if you have not ever used the product before. So let's go ahead and just jump into what my favorites are for the beginning of March this month so I don't waste y'all any more time talking. But I just, I mean, it's not really just talking. I'm not rambling. I'm literally letting y'all know that that product, that different, is no joke, okay? Please, please, please use caution. I don't want any of y'all to get the chemical burn I got, okay? So, let's just go ahead and jump into the product. So, I'm using my little Ipsy bag. Um, I'm using my Ipsy bag to hold on my little favorites for the beginning of March in it. Um, I've actually been carrying it in my Victoria's Secret little backpack that I carry on my back, my fringe bag. Um, I'm a Victoria's Secret junkie, of course, which I'm sure a lot of y'all are Victoria's Secret junkies too, but I'm like a really huge Victoria's Secret junkie bit. Um, anyway, so I'm using my Ipsy bag to hold my little products. Now, I have got one, two, three, four. I think I've gotten four bags. I've been an Ipster for four months now. So, I think I have four bags, and this is probably my favorite. Um, oh my gosh, I just do not like this. I don't like how it looks. But anyways, oh well, screw it. So, Anyway, so let's just go ahead and just open my bag. Like I said, these are the products that I'm using for uh, in the beginning of March um, that I'm really digging at the moment. So first, I'm going to show y'all the product, the moisturizer. Probably one of my favorite moisturizers I have ever used in my life. Um, I got it in a birch box one time, and it... I fell in love with it, but all I had was like a little sample of it, and it did not last really long, um, and I was really upset about it, but this moisturizer is probably one of the best moisturizers I've ever used, and it doesn't make my skin break out like the majority of moisturizers do because of my oily, acne-prone skin. So let me just go ahead and show y'all this, okay? This is a French brand um, made in Paris. This is the Embry Embryloise. Whoopsie, sorry, I can't say it right. Laboratories. This is their La Creme Concentre for all types of skin. Multifunction nourishing moisturizer for all skin types. You can use this as a face wash. You can use it as a makeup remover. You can use it as a mask. You can use it as a primer. This moisturizer right here is very 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 popular with celebrities and makeup artists alike so i'm sure if you've seen this right here or you know in your in your if you're famous or whatever i'm sure your makeup artist uses this on your face this is a multi-function in one moisturizer it is heavy true but i actually i mean i have it on my face right now and it's really helped improve, you know, from the chemical burn from that different gel. So, um, I actually went to Target, and Target has the, uh, this is the 15 milliliters. Um, I had the small one that I got in the birch box that I used all of it, and I had been conserving it because I wanted to buy the full size so bad, but the full size is like $28. So, I went to Target and got three tubes of this stuff, okay? And a little lasts a long way, so please just know that a little lasts a long way. You don't need a whole lot. Um, but, like I said, this is probably my favorite moisturizer. Um, it's made in Paris, and you can go to Embryolose.com. Um, like I said, it's multifunction. Smells great. It's thick, but... Your skin will thank you so much. It's super hydrating and it helps with elasticity, lines in your face, um, it plumps your skin. It's really good. So this is the moisturizer that I'm using right now. Thank goodness Target had a little samples that I could buy, which they don't carry it in stores. But you can order the full sizes online and once my little sample tubes are gone I'm, I'm gonna go buy all the sample tube tubes at Target I ain't playing um, I'm gonna uh, get all of them and then I'm gonna buy my full size but I'm gonna continue to keep using it on my skin to make sure that it is improving my skin and it doesn't start to break me out you know what I'm saying so if you haven't tried that moisturizer I'm just letting y'all know probably one of the best that it's pricey, but it's worth it, okay? $28 for a full-size um, 
it's worth it. So let's go ahead and move on to the next product. Let's go ahead and unzip my bag. So let's go ahead and unzip it. So the first product I pull out is the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream Skin Perfector Broad Spectrum SPF 30 for medium skin tones. Okay, so this BB cream is perfect if you have under eyes, circles, um, anything along that nature. This stuff is actually really good. Um, I needed a little BB cream, and I know Revlon's a good brand, which I, I'm more prestige and luxurious brand, but uh. I said, ah, oh, to hell with it. You know, I'm going to get me a uh, a drugstore BB cream. And let me tell you, this stuff right here, it works. And it's good. Good for your under eyes, um, imperfections, blemishes, you know, whatever your issues, your skin concerns are. Um, so, anyways, I got it in the medium skin tone because I'm medium skin tone. Okay, now y'all don't laugh at me, but I'm about to try to figure out a way how to do this. Okay, so y'all are having to look up, look at this. Like, who does this? Who does videos where they put the phone above their head and show their products? I'm different, and that's why y'all love me, right? Because I'm different. <laughs> So, listen, I, I'm just tired of holding the phone. My freaking arms are tired. So, like I said, the Revlon BB Cream is the Revlon BB Photo Ready BB Cream Skin Perfector. Um, the applicator is good. Um, let's go ahead and kind of, I'll show y'all. You know, it matches my skin tone really well. Um, so, let's just. Yeah, like it, I mean, it, it will blur your imperfections. Like, it's perfect. Okay, so this is not working once again. Um, so I guess I'm just going to have to hold it because nothing else is working. So that was my second product that I showed y'all, the Revlon BB Cream. So third, well, of course, y'all know about my NARS 3-in-1 uh, cheeks, lips, and um, eyes multi-purpose stick I've done showed y'all two different videos with this in it I love this product that much I still been using it on my eyes Cupid's bow lips and cheeks and I love it love it love it love it love it so much um, next is I got this in my ipsy bag okay it is the seraphine botanicals luminude 74 percent water-based skin illuminator right so, it actually, ha it's 74% water-based, 95% natural, no mineral oil, no parabens, no phthates, no gluten, and hypoallergenic, not tested on animals, and it is gluten, okay? It's gluten-free, and it is vegan. So, it is an all-around good product. Um, I've been using it, actually, to highlight my brow bone, and I've been using it to dab a little bit on my cheeks. Um, it actually has acne-fighting properties in it, so you can actually use it to combat acne, which I think is really fucking cool. Um... So here's a little tu tube, Seraphine Botanicals. Like I said, I got it from in my Ipsy bag last month, and it is uh, water-based, and it's perfect for darker skin tones. Um, so let me just go ahead and like I'm gonna. This is so annoying, y'all. Like I need. I wish I had better freaking lighting, like so bad. Oh my god. So let's just. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show y'all. Real quick, if you are interested, you see this? Okay, now, it's good for darker skin tones. Now, if you're watching me rub it in, you see how it's luminosity and it's really, like, watery. But, you know, it does give your skin a beautiful tint. Um, I love it, and like I said, it's got acne-fighting uh, agents in it, 
which makes it even better for my skin type because y'all know I'm oily acne prone. And uh, so this stuff right here, SeraphineBotanicals.com, if you're interested in it. Um, I actually like this. I wasn't sure about it at first, but I actually do like this. Um, and like I say, y'all see my hand. It's really shiny. It's good stuff. Like I said, you can dab it right here on your brow bone. Uh, use it as an all-over skin illuminator. Mix it with your moisturizer, your foundation, uh, whatever. So if you're a vegan person and you like all natural products, this would, uh, Seraphine Botanicals would definitely be a brand that I would look into if I was you. So, let's just go ahead and hurry up the rest through my bag before I end up making another 30-minute video that y'all do not want to watch all the way through. And I understand that, but some of y'all do. And for the ones that do, y'all know how much I really appreciate it. So, let's pull out my next product. Um, so, I've had this product, I've had this since December, um, but I've never really done a... A video or a review on this product this is actually the Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick in the shade Aisha um, this right here if you want a good liquid lipstick this stuff right here is awesome I mean I love this stuff now this purple is very it's a very witchy purple purple color which my old man picked this color out for me but look at the packaging I mean I love Kat Von D products um, this is the only Kat Von D product that I actually own but um, if you really if you're looking for a liquid lip and you've never used Kat Von D's products before I would definitely look into her everlasting liquid lipstick line um, because these will stay put, um, but I will say the darker shades, this purple is witchy and bitchy, and I love it, love it, love it, because y'all know I'm Wiccan, um, and I will say that these will, these do last a long time, especially if you prep before, you know, and, uh, get your, use a plumper and a bomb and, uh, use a lip pencil to make the color last longer, um, it looks gorgeous on your lips and it dries very quick and it will last. But once you start eating oily stuff, of course it's going to start wearing thin. But I was told that the, well I've read the reviews that the darker, the darker the color, um, the, the more splotchiness they get. Which I can see because this purple can get really uh, splotchy. But other than that, if you like your liquid lipsticks to stay, I would highly recommend those Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. That's why it's in my bag this month because I'm really digging it. So uh, next, I'm just going to go real quick because we're almost at 25 minutes. Whoopsie! Um, I love to go to the dollar store and check out lip glosses. I'm always, I'm a lip lippy junkie. Everybody knows that. Um, this is actually the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in the shade Sun Glaze. Um, I like Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is actually a good brand, regardless if it's cheap or not. Um, it's a beautiful color. Um... Now, I already have two other products on my lips right now that I'm about to show y'all. Um, but this is just a simple little lip gloss um, in Wet n Wild. And, you know, of course, Wet n Wild is vegan-free. I mean, vegan-free. They don't, they're cruelty-free and they're vegan and they don't test on animals. So, if you're into that type of stuff, um, I would recommend checking out that brand if you haven't already, which I'm sure everybody has. But, um... Just a simple lip gloss and sun glaze. I love nudes and I love lip glosses. Um, but like I was saying, the products that I have on my lips right now is uh, two products that I actually got at Walmart the other day um, that I'm really digging right now. So Maybelline, their color sensational line. Um, I actually got the lip liner and the lipstick the other day. Um, this is the Maybelline color sensational shade in beige babe 545 it's a nude of course i love nudes it's a beautiful shade of course it's a a peachy sandy nude and i got the lip liner in dusty rose and it is i, I love that this pair together um 
Let's see if y'all can see it better, like, in the light. I mean, paired together, it looks great. Um, I... I'm so glad that I got this lipstick and liner together because, like I said, I'm a nude fanatic and I love nudes. And the lip liner was like $7 and this is like $6. And together you can get a prestige beauty look with the full pout, you know, the Kylie Jenner lips that everybody wants so bad. Um, you you know, you draw on your Cupid's bow, you make the X. I'll, I'll have to do a tutorial on how to contour your lips. But, um... If you like Maybelline products, their Color Sensational Nude Line, well, they're all colors in their lip liners. Uh, this is actually, re this was actually recommended by Maybelline, putting these two colors together, Beige Babe and Dusty Rose in the liner. Um, but that's what I'm wearing right now, and I love it. Very awesome two products to use together. So, let's hurry up and get the rest of this out of the way so I can end this. Um, Y'all, I'm a Baby Lips fanatic, okay? I love Baby Lips by Maybelline. Um, I carry it all the time. This is their pink, uh, the, the pink one where it, it, uh, do, 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 it, makes your own color pink on your lips it uses your ph balance on your lips and gives your own shade of pink um real simple you know maybelline's baby lips line i got two other ones over here too i've had so many of these in i mean over the years since they've had baby lips come out like i've had so many of them um but i love them i, I love baby lips your lips feel so soft they feel great so let's let's go ahead and get now this is one of my all-time favorites okay this is the probably the most intense lip plumper I've ever used in my life and this is the glam glow extreme plump rageous metallic lip treatment in the shade lusty okay and it twists up and down you see like it twists twist into a top and then you twist it back up and when you pull it out oh, now this, like I said, this is probably the most intense lip plumper I've ever used in my life. It will sting, and I'm going to tell y'all right now, this, this lip plumper right here is very, very intense. And if you can't handle the Too Faced Lip Injections lip plumper, then you probably won't be able to handle this one because... This one actually feels like you're getting stung by a bee on your lips. Like this, I've never felt anything lip plump a lip plumper that plumps sorry now this is one bad thing about this is that it gets all over the place that's why i don't have it twisted in all the time um the applicator you see you see how it's got this at the very top it's got a lot of the product at the very top lusty is a beautiful shade but look at the look at the applicator you see that like it's so weird but you can layer it on top of lipstick Oh my gosh, piece of hair. Um, I love this stuff, but it is messy, so it'll run you about $24, I think. Um, but it's a beautiful color, like, let me show y'all in the light. Um, it's a really beautiful color, lusty. I love it, and it's metallic. Um, they have matte, and they have clear also, but look at that. Look how it has intensified my lipstick. It's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love that stuff. But if you can't handle the burn, then I do not recommend it at all. Do not recommend it. So, we're almost at 30 minutes, so let me go ahead and just show y'all. Um, I got this at Victoria's Secret. This is the Lips, Lip Silk Sheer Gloss in the beautiful color. It's uh, Fearless, I think, is the shade. Um, it's really pretty. It's sheer. Um, if you like Victoria's Secret, then you know they're sheer lip glosses. Um, they're sheer. There's not really much color to them. Um, let's go ahead and... oh. Of course, this is the MAC Cosmetics Vamplify. This is their Vamplify uh, lip gloss in the shade What's Going On. 
probably the most intense uh, pigmented lip gloss I've ever had. I've done a video on this too. Y'all know when I did the unboxing of uh, my MAC Cosmetics. This Vamplify Lip Gloss by MAC is the shit. I love it so much. Um, like I said, I have a lot of my favorite products. So two more products left. Um, this is still one of my favorites. I've had this for about two months now. This is the Too Faced Cosmetics uh, Peach Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss, which come out with their line uh, with the Peach Palette, the Too Faced Peach Palette. This is in the shade Pop It On Peach, and it is a beautiful nude color. Mm, smells and tastes like peaches on your lips. It's absolutely Mm, I love this freaking stuff. And then last but not least, this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics. Uh, this is their new Hydra uh, lip stain uh, with with moisture water and jojoba jo jo oil and, you know, all those good things. But uh, this is in the shade Berry. It applies wet and dries and it gives you a sheer berry color to your lips and it is definitely buildable and it's cheap for three bucks uh my old man got this for me actually the other day um but i know i wanted to show y'all more about those products that i just showed y'all but unfortunately my video is at 30 minutes and i'm sure a lot of y'all don't want to watch my videos for 30 minutes so i do apologize for how long this video has been but i really want to Thanks, everybody, for watching my channel and subscribing to me. Welcome, all my new subscribers. Thank y'all so much for the support. It really means a lot. And for the ones who actually watch this video all the way through, you are so appreciated. I really appreciate it so much. And if I bored you, I'm sorry. I just wanted to show y'all my favorite products. I wanted to tell y'all my story um, with the different gel. I don't feel good, but I got up and did this for y'all, for my subbies, my 201 subbies. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know if you have any of these products. Um, I really would like to know if y'all enjoyed this video, and I'm sorry that my vi that my videos are so long. I'm just a talker, um, and if I if I wasn't me, then I wouldn't have 201 subbies. You see, I'm a small time YouTuber, but I love to make my subbies happy, and I love to give y'all good content. So please, please, please stay tuned and welcome. Like I said, to all my new subbies and all my original subbies, y'all are the best. I love y'all. Thanks for holding on and supporting me this whole time and I support y'all too I love you all and thanks for watching and I will see y'all in my next video bye